Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. We're going to Ibiza, not to rave, but to race. And Calvin will be shooting everything behind the scenes uh, for the, one of the biggest races of the year. So, stay tuned, enjoy. So I got to the island on Thursday. The vibes were really good on the island and especially down at the Ryzen van. We got some good coffee and I had to pick up some kit for the race. My pre-race days are always pretty much the same. Generally a short swim, bike and run just to turn things over and a few hard efforts just to get the body primed for the race. I also picked up my new suit from Ryzen the day before and I just wanted to test it out in the water just to see how it felt and yeah it felt great this set that we did was the main set was 6x50 hard and then into a 200 hard and I think we went like 204 205 and then just finished it off with some easy swimming yeah feeling really good wetsuit felt nice felt far we did a smith up and they felt good go for a little jog now and a little ride just uh, rest up keep the good vibes going good then I did a little 30 minute jog with another couple of efforts. So I did five by 200 uh, that were just kind of stride out speed and then a 1K around race base. So that was sort of 310, 315. I got a new prototype disc the day before the race that was flown out by the owner of Parkour's Duff. And then I just took it out for a quick spin just to make sure everything was working fine. And then all that was left to do was have some pre-race pizza and then head off to bed before the big one the next day. Here we are with a wrap up for the PTO Ibiza European Open. Yeah, it was a, I mean, two thirds of it was great. Um, I was really confident coming into the race. The training had been going really, really well. Yeah, long build up to the race, which is something that I haven't had in a while. At the end of last year, I was pretty sick. Um, I had a pretty heinous virus. Um, yeah, that pretty much just sort of like ruined yeah, the last six months of last year. And so yeah, coming back like January 1st, I was very, very unfit. Literally hadn't done any training since Kona. Just started doing really consistent work, just week in, week out, and that accumulated to, yeah, I was in really good shape for this race, um, and really confident coming in. Wearing 122 from New Zealand, Carl Smith! Take your marks. Had a really good start, got away quickly, and yeah, people weren't sort of, yeah, didn't get boxed in or didn't get, wasn't fighting or anything for position, which was really nice. And then yeah, I could quickly, pretty, pretty quickly see that I was in the top three, um, going around the first boy and just sort of settled in and yeah, I honestly felt quite comfortable in that lead group. Yeah, I knew I was in a good position myself, but I thought that the pace wasn't pushing on enough to, yeah, really get those gaps over the guys that we wanted to. Had a good transition and got onto the bike and then just got my head down on the bike really again i really pushed hard at the front of that bike because i thought that we didn't have much of a gap so basically the course went maybe a five minute climb up and then a quick descent turn around and basically do that so there was about eight power surges per lap that were sort of like between four and five minutes and they were all sort of like high 300s, 400 watts. And so yeah, kind of riding out and then Al came past and I think most of the climbs or most of the sort of uphills we were over 400 watts. Um, and Al was really, really pushing the pace.
I was feeling quite comfortable on the bike and always pulling those turns, which is why I didn't really care about being on the front. I know that like at 20 meters behind and it was quite windy that I, the guys behind me weren't getting a toe, if that makes sense. And so, yeah, like I was happy to go on the front and push the pace and yeah, felt, felt really good, uh, which may be a little bit too good. I went away from what my race plan was gonna be and I went to racing the race, um, but obviously, without me sort of knowing I was burning just match after match after match every time we were going up those climbs. So yeah, got off the bike onto the run um, and Al had a small gap and I think apparently he ran a 257k and I ran up to him and so yeah, I was, I think my first k was like a 255 or something but again it was sort of like wasn't hurting and so I thought oh, okay we're, we're on here like you know you get the sort of red mist like there's a hundred grand on the line and you know that's life-changing amounts of money just coming off the bike and had like a little bit of a stitch and so I dropped out and I thought as soon as this passes I'll, I'm feeling really good to sort of move back up and yeah I felt fine and then all of a sudden it was just like someone just drained the power <laughs> five, six K into the run, I was like, oh, like Max came back at me pretty fast. I tried to go with him and I was like, okay, now I'm, I'm not hurting. There's just nothing there. Like there's a disconnect between the mind and the body. And um, that just kind of progressively got worse and worse. And so, yeah, I think about sort of 12 K into the run, I was really starting to struggle. Um, I was just giving it everything I had and like I wasn't breathing really hard and I just either burnt too many matches on the bike or underdid something. I know it wasn't nutrition and the only thing that sort of left for me is that uh, I think maybe I underhydrated. I missed a couple of the bottles on the aid station and yeah I think I've learned a lot of lessons going forward like you know I was swimming really well, riding really well and running really really well like that was running the best I've been running in a long time. There are limitations and you have a race plan and you have a race tactic and regardless of what's going on in the race, you kind of have to follow that because, yeah, you lift to another level on race day, but it's not so many levels that you become bulletproof. That being said, I know where my shape hair is at for the first time in a long time. Like, you know, last year I was pretty battling with uh, health issues. And so it's nice to be back at the front of the race, towing the line and really pushing the, the pace hard with those guys.